guys and welcome back to another lippy review so today we're doing another one from essence and this is from their shine 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 wet look lip gloss line in the color number 20 in strawberry red which looks much more like a strawberry pink if you ask me but that is beside the point i'm curious does it smell like strawberry i hope it does that'd be really nice let's find out no, it does not. <laughs> we'll come back to that later. But anyway, so format-wise, it is a gloss. It has, like, a kind of diamond tip, like, doe foot applicator in there. Uh, otherwise, packaging is just, like, plastic, acrylic tube, plastic cap. You know the drill. Looks like that all the way around. Ta-da. Anyway, so these retail for $3.99 at Target. Uh, Size-wise, this contains 0.16 fluid ounces, which I think is pretty good for a lip gloss. Um, not sure if these are synthetic or organic, but I'm going to take a wild guess and assume they are synthetic. Like, educated guess here. Just a thought. So it's not part of a set, but it is part of a line. I forget how many of these they made, but there was a good uh, array of them. I don't know if they still make this line. I want to say they recently discontinued it and replaced it with the Extreme Shine line, which is basically the same thing with more colors. I don't know why they did that. It's literally the same price point even. Practically same packaging. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe they just, like, reskinned it essentially to, like, update the packaging and theme. I don't know. But, um, at some point I'm sure I'll pick those up, but there's like 20 of them, so I'm like, I will wait a little bit on that. <laughs> so, anyway, um, these aren't limited edition per se, but I mean, being discontinued does limit your options. But again, Target, Target still has them because this was recent enough history to where it's still on shelves. Uh, they aren't medicated, no SPF, no special features. So back to that scent. It smells like the other one that I've reviewed so far from this line. Like kind of almost caramely, very sweet, very gourmand kind of scent with like a bit of vanilla in there. It smells really good. And a swatch. One swipe gives you that much pigment. Uh, so I'm not gonna build it up there, but I will build it up on my lips. So let's go ahead on in. Ooh. That's pretty. Let that a second coat. Okay, that's pretty thick, actually. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Okay, I am here for that. That almost kind of looks like you, like, bit into a juicy strawberry. Oh, I like that a lot, actually. Let me real quick take a thumbnail pic for this. Um, and also wash my hand off. Okay, for how insane that was to wash off the back of my hand, that gives me a pretty good feeling of confidence that it better stay on when I do the drink test because oh my god I scrubbed my head like five different times with soap just to get that to even mostly come off and there's still like a slightly sticky spot there so fingers crossed but anyway it is really really pretty it's kind of got like I said that like bitten into a berry kind of a look very shiny well I mean it's a gloss it's literally its job um I do feel chaps through it, so for me that is a point against it. Um, it is slightly sticky too, but that's okay. It's not the worst, but it does have some tack to it. Uh, you may want to tie your hair back when wearing this one. I'm probably going to put mine in a ponytail in a little while. Um, but thickness-wise, even layering it up, it doesn't feel that thick. Like, it's a medium at best. So, anyway... Thankfully, you don't feel the glitter, shimmer, or whatever is in there at all, so that's a plus in my book. Um, it's hard to say for sure if there's no flavor or if there actually is a very, very, very subtle strawberry flavor in there that's just, like, barely there, or if I'm imagining it because I so badly want it to be strawberry, but I feel like it is there very, very subtly. Um... But regardless, uh, we do know that it's going to transfer. We'll just 
you know, I <laughs> the battle I just went through scrubbing my hands. Let's not do that twice, so we're just... We'll take it from how much it comes off on the mug when I do the drink test. Okay, okay, we'll count it from there on this one, because I'm like, oh, dude, I am not doing that again. <laughs> so anyway, let's do that drink test, shall we? Yeah, see, it does transfer. But, um... Feels and looks like it stayed on perfectly, though, so no complaints there. I'm still gonna give it the wow factor, honestly. Even if I only give it a 7, it's still getting the wow factor, because I do really like this. And it's a super pretty color. It's not so vibrant to where it feels like it has to be fancy. It's one that could be dressed up or down, though. And, um, it's one that... While it is like a bit of a vibrant color, it's also subtle enough to where if it starts to wear off in spots, it won't seem super crazy obvious the way it would if it were like a deep, deep color or a red, purple, a brown, anything like that where it's really obvious. No, it's like subtle enough. So that's a point for it in my book. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, 7 out of 10. That's still pretty good. That's still above average. So anyway. That is it for this one, guys. So, as usual, uh, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you liked me, go ahead and click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Have you ever used this one? What did you think of it? Let me know down below in the comments, as well as anything about anything. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my eBay, my Reddits, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, that donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, until next time, see ya.